Hello everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So glad you are here and could join us. I have three more new journals to share with you. They are Traveler's Notebook insert, insert Style, and they are standard size. So they are approximately eight and a quarter to eight and a half by four and a quarter-ish. So these are some fall journals, and I hope you really enjoy them. So let's get right into it. We'll start with this one. Now, each of them is wrapped with a ribbon, and you can use the ribbon for your closure and have it as a standalone journal if you like, or they can be put into a standard size traveler's notebook cover. So, we take this off, super pretty and sheer. We have a pocket on the front that has this fun shaker tag inside, and it has this little acorn charm pinned to that. If you like, you can unpin it, or you could leave it on there on something else and this journal has this cute little owl right there lots of pretty gold leaves there okay. go inside you have this pretty pocket with a little collage cluster of die cuts and some fluffy fibers and whatnot in the pocket you have this pretty tag opens up for some extra writing space and more of those pretty gold leaves, nice sheer fabric, some children's writing paper, a bit of copper trim there, and on this page we have a little paper clip, altar paper clip, <clears throat> that says golden, and that adds some nice texture on the edge of the page, and then it's also holding this little bit of ephemera, and this fun paper that unfolds, looks like a little envelope, but it unfolds to be extra writing space. I'll clip all those back in later. And this ephemera and some of the other ephemera that's included in these journals comes from uh, Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and her digital kit is called Lady Eleanor's Journal. And if you saw my video on the smaller uh, fall journals, you'll know that I use that in there as well. And here we have some coffee dyed paper that flips out, and this has that fun pan uh, that has the holes in it, the texture from that, from when it was drying. And this is another digital. This one, I think, is, let me think about it, Christian's, Christina's, Craft Addict, something. I'll put it in the description box below. But again, this was another uh, bit that I had from a previous, uh, not a fall journal, but the, the forest journal, uh, woodland journal. And then you have some ruffled fabric there. And again, the, this is more of the paper that was in the kit. And then there's some scrapbook paper. There are some little fabric cluster tabs. This one, uh, if you can see it, it says autumn on it. And then we have another pocket with another bit of that forest digital and another cute little fold out paper of some coffee dyed paper. It's coffee dyed graph paper. And we have here a paper clip with a little leaf on it and we have one of these book page envelopes and I also have a video on how a video tutorial on how to make those and I will also leave the link to that down below in case you're interested in taking a peek at that okay this is a fun pocket it has some sheer fabric on the very front here and you have this cute little bit of ephemera with some mushrooms stamped on it and then the back pocket has these two extra pieces journaling cards a little flip up, some pretty fabric, it's got some gold flecks in it, and more of this beautiful paper from the kit, and another fabric cluster for a tab. I really like using those. And this inside pocket is a pocket that holds a very large tag, and here this says fall. Super pretty. Oh, and this flips out. You can add some things in there. And here we have another of those paper clips. And I also have a video on how to make those in case you're interested in that. And this is fun. It's a little pocket on the back with a tiny tag that came off of a piece of a vintage uh, flashcard. And then this was a bit of ephemera from the kit, the digital kit. And that's all embellished up. I'll put that on later. This also flips there. And this is a little pocket here on the side with a pretty little sewn journaling card. And then that flips out that way. Just a little extra 
bit of paper and another journaling card and then some ruffles on the edge of that pocket and another paper clip there and then this really pretty uh, probably see it best there there is a die cut of some flowers inside of the brown wax paper and then it's stitched all around and this is another stitched journal card and the final of the tabs this fabric fabric clusters and it says falling leaves and this pocket just has some extra journaling paper for you this one opens out and this is a little paper leaf you can journal on that as well and then this piece flips over here and is just clipped in some children's writing paper and then this final pocket at the end has one more tag in it then oops flip back the back also has another pocket and my logo is there and inside is one more tag it's a little bit of collage there okay so all three of these are very similar so we'll try to go quickly through the other two this one has that same ribbon for its bow it has a little bit different style for its, the pocket but there's another there is another shaker tag and it seems to be missing its acorn but rest assured I will put it on there and there will be the acorn when you receive it and this is just gorgeous these metallic orange leaves I just love those over the sunflowers and some more leaves underneath and then inside we have a little clip and I believe I have another clip to put in that first one because it didn't have one and this pretty little collage again and more of those papers the coffee dyed and the writing note paper and this little fabric tab says fall and that writing paper there paper clip and one of those again and this one flips out here and you have an extra little hidden pocket there and this is that same kind of tag that folds out another of the fabric a little cornucopia definition there and this was fun this was from a magazine I love the fall colors and then I sewed it to or stitched it to some mulberry paper so that was a lot of fun decorating that up and this says the changing colors of autumn and here is the charm on the clip with the little captured flowers this one has papers that are a little bit different a little bit different styling and this large tag has stamped on it welcome autumn so I think we'll call this journal welcome autumn and the first journal we'll call autumn owl since it has the owl on the cover has that pretty lace that sticks up out of the top of the journal this one has the clear pocket or sheer pocket I mean behind here And here this one has the bit of ephemera here with that little paper that looks like an envelope but it's just folded that way other side and here is that envelope I decided to put that one in a pocket instead of over the edge and so pretty that fall background and this one again is folded over the top and has that extra leaf and this one a little journal card and an extra little journal card that opens up is in that pocket and this has a little journal piece that opens up falling leaves this one says autumnal and this again is little pocket tag I think those turned out super cute and again that tag in the back pocket oh they keep flipping to the back and this is the same like the other one okay right. 
And the last one is a little bit different. It has a slightly different color of bow. The feel of the entire journal is a little more muted colors. So that goes really nicely with that. And again, this shaker has a little uh, acorn on it. And beautiful embossed paper, lace. And again, this lace and the gold leaves, so pretty. And this also is from that Lady Eleanor kit. I like to say that that is Lady Eleanor herself. And a bit of folded paper there. says birthday greetings but you could always cover that up with another piece of ephemera if you didn't want it to say that and that's that trifold bit of coffee dyed paper and there's more of that polka dotted paper and then this is a cute little pouch a little bag that just has some extra little bits in it that you can use in the journal and there is that little flowers again and this has a tall tag there with some nice ruffled fabric on it. Some writing paper and that journal card again. And this, I, I like when this happens and I'm die cutting some things and just the negative space looks so nifty. So I put that on there. You can always put another piece of writing paper or you could write on this piece with a Sharpie or something if you wanted. And then you would be able to see that poking through, peeking through the little leaf shapes. And again, this says best birthday wishes, but you could cover that up if you wanted. This journal has a little more flavors of purples and burgundies in it than the other journals had. And this tall tag says hello fall and then autumn on top there. Plenty of space to write on the front and back. Or put photos or draw, whatever you like. Little tab is or tag is different in that one, but still super cute. Put that in later. A pretty bird. Look how pretty that is. That's from a calendar page. And that's another of those folded. Nice grungy ledger paper there. And this is fun. This is just some extra bits. mushrooms there, and some pleated paper, and there's that leaf again. And this is another little envelope, but I didn't close it up in case you want to open it and write in the entire thing. Oh, this page folds out like that for you. Okay. And again, some shades of purples in the back, and another pretty tag. All right, I'm not sure what we'll call this one yet, but it, it will be something else. You'll see it in the listings, and this one will be our Autumn Owl, and this one will be our, I think it was Welcome, Welcome Fall, Welcome Autumn for that uh, tag there. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed these three journals. If you are interested in purchasing one, they will be listed in my Etsy shop, and the information for that will be down below. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.